Good morning. Let me share my classification project on uh, telco customer churn. Telco stands for telecommunication customer churn. Okay. First one is churn. Churn is uh, when customers have left the telco, whether it's for voluntary reason or involuntary reason. In this data set of uh, 7,000 customers, 26% of them has left, which is very critical uh, to business because it is more expensive to acquire new customers than to keep existing ones. One of the features in this data set includes uh, demographic data, um, services that uh, customers have subscribed, and also customer account information, for example, how much they pay per month and how long have they been with the company. Target is churn, which has binary clusters one and zero. Uh, features, how, how do I select the features? The features are selected mainly by LASO coefficient. I also take into account the uh, p-value from set models, and I also drop features one by one to see the impact on the model performance. Features are dropped when they do not contribute significantly to the model. So what are the examples? For example, if each, this chart shows the distribution of the 7,000 customers. So uh, whether you are male or female, it looks like you are equally likely to churn. So this feature is not a good feature. What are useful features then? Useful features is when you can distinguish between the churn and non-churn customers. For example, uh, customers on month-to-month -month contract are more likely to churn which is also very logical because they are not bounded by yearly contracts. So they may have, they may have the intention to leave in the first place. Next is feature engineering. These three features, tenure, money charges, and total charges, are continuous uh, data that I need to split into categories. Um, looking at the pair plot, it looks like it is possible to separate between the churn and non-churn customers. Churn are the orange ones and non-churn are the, the green customers. So I've carefully selected these separation boundaries in the attempt to distinguish between the churn and non-churn cases. Um, I've tested eight models, um, trained them, optimized them, and here are the results. Logistic regression generally works well on binary clusters and it has performed better than the rest. On the performance, performance matrix F1 score is the balance, or rather optimized balance between the two positive rate and the false positive rate. AUC stands for area under the curve, which is explained in this graph. The curve is receiver operating characteristics curve. It is the relationship between the true positive rate and the false positive rate. Logistic regression has an area of 0.82 under this curve. It means it has performed better than random guesses of 0.5, which is the diagonal line. For time taken, logistic regression may not be the fastest, but it is not the slowest. SVC or support vector took 10 times longer than random forest, which took 10 times longer than logistic regression. And, and the other performance metric is log loss. Log loss is where we look for the model with the lowest loss function. And once again, logistic regression has performed the best and it is the final selected model. Um, next, I tune the hyperparameter threshold for uh, logistic regression. And after tuning, I achieve a recall rate of 76%. Recall 76% means 76% of the churn customers are classified correctly. However, the trade-off is that 58% of the churn predictions, only 58% of the churn predictions are correct. Finally, I tested the logistic regression model on test data. Features are sorted in descending order of uh, importance from the list of 47 features. And depending on the number of features used, um, the, the performance scores are different. Notice that there is a diminishing improvement in the F1 score. So in conclusion, I would propose to implement 18 features on the logistic regression model and business can also use these 18 features as a focus to understand why customers are churning uh, a lot. That's all. Thank you.